Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nays Anise. For those of you who are new to the channel, and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video is going to be a walkthrough of one of my faith journals or war binders, as most people call it. Um, I own two war binders. One is a actual full size binder, and the other one is more of like an A5 kind of size binder. I have two for specific reasons. My regular binder has a lot of printouts that I have um, that help me with like Bible studies, and it also has my Bible study notes when I first started studying. And then the one I'm going to show you guys today, which is more of like the A5 size, has some um, hand, a lot of handwritten items, things that I want to write down, but I don't need like a large sheet of paper to write on. So, yeah, so this is what one of my Faith Journal War Binders looks like. It is a rose gold kind of binder. I got this from Doki Book, which I'll leave linked down below. It is called the Disc Agenda Diva, and um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous beauty. You guys can see. Um, it's kind of like Safiano Faux Leather, um, and I just love her so much. She's amazing. Um, the inserts are from their prayer journal from Doki Book, and I got my inserts in a binder with rose gold rings, so my planner is just, planner, you guys, it's not a planner, my faith journal is just rose gold out. Um, on it I have this chain hanging that I got from, I think, my grandmother a while ago, but, um, it's, I don't, I think it's a Chanel chain, I don't know. But my grandmother gave it to me about a year or two years ago, and I just connected it to this as a cute little accessory. But um, we're definitely going to flip through this baby, show you guys briefly what it looks like on the inside. We're going to flip through it, and I'm going to show you guys how I have it set up, and try to remember where everything is from. But um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I set up my Faith Journal War Binder, stay tuned. Okay guys, so here is the binder, like I said, it is from Doki Book, which is linked down below, and it's called the Diva. It is a disc agenda cover, and I'll explain to you guys what that means, but um, here it is in all its glorious beauty. You, like I said, it's kind of like a Safiano leather, it's rose gold, and I just have this chain attached to it. So opening it up, um, this is how I have it set uh, but before I get into everything as far as setting the setup goes, um, what I mean by it being a disc agenda cover is that this binder, as you can see, has rose gold rings. This is not coming up so well on camera, but it is rose gold. But um, it does come out. If you guys can see, it does come out. So you can always take out the binder of the disc agenda covers and um, use the covers for notebooks or for something kind of like how the Happy Planner is because they do sell planners from Doki Book that are similar to the Happy Planner. Um, you can also buy the actual Diva binder that already contains the um, rings glued into it. So yeah, you can buy them with the rings already glued in. Um, the interior is white, which I love. And here it just says Disc Agenda Diva, just to let you guys know, you know, what kind it is. And that is um, stamped in gold foil. But um, so in the pocket, I just had extra paper, and these are actually scriptures that I wrote down that I want to um, do some first mapping on so I just wrote them down on some note paper so in this top pocket here I have some things I have these stickers back here which come from the um, Aaron Condren planner because I used to have one of those I also have this bookmark that I printed out um, which has prayers for your husband and I'm not married as of yet we're still engaged <laughs> But um, we've been together now for, this is the sixth year that we've been together. And um, I still pray these prayers for my fiancé on a daily basis when I can, remember to at least. Then I have this little sticky notepad that I got from Dollar Tree. It says, be yourself. In the second pocket here, I have this notepad that says, I can and I will from Dollar Tree. And then I have this little card here with gold foil. 
and it just says notes on the back but it is gold foil and I thought it was pretty and went with the whole color scheme so I just have it there um this second pouch has nothing and then this last one here has some flags that are cute kawaii style flags this is a pocket I used to have stickers in there but I literally have nothing in here now so I have this hello here in gold foil that I took from my Webster's uh, color crush planner I just have this little pink thing here with um, paper clips stuck to it I had more paper clips but you know I actually might use this paper clip to make um, another paper clip soon so we'll see so um the dividers I got off of an Etsy store I'm gonna see if they're still available but they're basically rose gold dividers which I thought went perfectly well with the color scheme of my book so this first section is my prayer section and um right in the front I have my 2018 goals you know my word of the year is faith my scripture which is Ephesians 6 12 it's actually Ephesians 11 through 13 but I'm focusing on 12 um, then I have my spiritual goals, financial goals, business goals, YouTube blog goals, um, relationship goals, and personal goals. Here I have a prayer scripture, which is James 5 and 16. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much with a bow paper clip, which I think is so cute. And then we go into some prayers. So these are literally prayers that I um, found online, except for this one I wrote back in February of 2017. This was a simple prayer, but, um, you know, prayers to pray for others, how to be consistent with your prayer, praying for your relationship with God. Um, I can get it to, you know, go over. And then these are prayers that I found f um, from Jennifer O. White. And, you know, it was, you know, pray for your heart, your mind, your your significant other's relationship with God, for his character and his will, for your communication with him, for your influence, you know, marital unity, transforming me as a wife and things like that. And like I said, I'm not married yet, but there's nothing wrong with preparing my heart and mind for marriage because that is the end goal. These are wives' prayers over her husband. I forgot where I got this from. This is just a larger printout of the little bookmark that I showed you guys back here, which are the prayers for your husband. This back here is a prayer I wrote for a friend when she was in need of some prayer. So that is that. And this is what the paper looks like. It says prayers. Um, and these inserts are all from Doki Book from their prayer journal. So um, I'll leave a link down below to that. You can buy the inserts on their own, either for kind of like a disc agenda kind of Thing or with the rings I got the ones with the rings of course the next divider is for my devotions um, when I'm reading my devotionals so you guys can see I used to do three devotionals at a time I used to do the inscribe the word as well I would write my prayers if I had space I don't even know what these are. But I'm pretty sure this was like some type of devotion that I did, so. And this is from when my church did the um, 21 day fast. We had scriptures, so I would read the scripture, write my notes on the scripture in the next box. So that's pretty much what this is. Here. And then the bookmark um, are for the last three, actually last four days. I didn't get a chance to write my notes out, so I still have them blank so that I can write them out. But um, the divider says today, and it's in pink foil, hearts from Doki Book. Next section is from my scriptures. So I literally just have nothing but scriptures written out in here, like Proverbs 31, 26. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is a law of happiness. Um, Proverbs 16.9, a man's heart divides, deceiveth his way, but the Lord directeth his path, or his steps, rather. Um, just a bunch of scriptures that I actually wrote out. Then this is like scriptures pertaining to, um, <clears throat> sorry, certain words such as abiding in Christ, joy, love. Literally just nothing but prayers. These are encouragement scriptures. 
this paper clip I got off of an Etsy shop, so yeah. Next section is Bible studies, and these are not the actual Bible studies that I do in my Bible, but more so Bible studies that I watch on YouTube that are like short 30 minute sessions, but um, I still want to write notes on, so these are different methods. So you have the SOAP method, SPEC method, 70s, um, some tips. Then you have the five P's of Bible study from Priscilla Shire, the focus 15 method. This was from my Proverbs introductory kind of stuff that I wrote down on Proverbs before I went into Proverbs 31. Um, I have more in-depth notes in my other Warbinder faith journal, but I took down some minuscule notes in this one here. So I have those notes. This was the Why Study the Bible from Him of His Garments Ministry on YouTube, which I'll leave a link down below to these videos if I can find them. Um, so yeah, it was front and back. This was Keep On Going, Everything Will Be Okay from Leah Essence. I love her channel. I've mentioned her channel before. This is How to Fast by Heather Lindsay, and then Dangerous of Sex Outside of Marriage by Heather Lindsay. This study was um, The Value of a Woman by Joseph Solomon, which is from Chase God TV. This over here was about Taming the Tongue by Fatima Farmer. The Power of the Cross by Bill Crowder was actually something that I read. It was a little book that I got from Our Daily Bread. This is The Secret Place from Crowned in Faith. I love that YouTube channel, you guys. That channel just gives me so much life and just, I love it so much. I highly suggest you check it out. And then I just have a crown paper clip here, also from Etsy. The next section is for sermon notes, sermons and like notes that I take on church. Now, when I go to church, I write my notes on little papers like this. I have a little, um, a little kind of paper pad in my Bible bag. You'll see that I just jot my notes down sloppily, and then when I come home, I rewrite down the notes better. Um, so I literally just put the notes there and um, anything that's covered up has prayers that were prayed over for me and I like to write down the prayers that are spoken to me because I like to go back to them and check them off because a lot of the prayers and things that I've been told from prayers from different pastors and ministers have actually come to pass already so I just like to write them down and it's a habit my mom and my first lady got me into um, so yeah literally just church notes and then these are church notes that I actually need to write down. And I also have another one, so it lets you know how long I have been using this. Um, and then I have another ruler from Dogie Book, which has gold foil stars on it. And the note paper is also from Doki Book as well, which I'll leave linked down below. This last section I made on my own because the dividers only came with five. I needed a sixth one, so I just made it myself. It says resources. And literally just some random things in here. So like a weekly evaluation, um, you know, did I accomplish any of these goals, such as loving my son, blessing my fiance and my family, serving others, expressing gratitude, encouraging someone, simplifying my life, strengthening my relationship with God. So things that I can look, look at on a weekly basis. These are some daily reminders to live by the fruit of the spirit and not by the works of the flesh, to be thankful in everything to read the Bible daily, to put on the armor of God every day, pray every day for spiritual growth and stay on the right path, live to please the Spirit and listen to His guidance. These are 10 truths to remember, such as, you know, I'm loved, I'm forgiven, I'm chosen, God's Word is the lamp at my feet, um, I've been given the armor of God, the Holy Spirit intercedes on my behalf, God is greater than all and is in me, the Lord is my help, praise silences the enemy, God is, not, God is working it all out for my good with its corresponding scriptures. This came with my mother's dividers, so I bought her dividers as well because she kind of has like the same um, binder as me, just hers is a different color. It's blue with the mint, green, and gold dividers, and mine's came with a rose gold version of it, and it's kind of like a bookmark that came with it, so I took her mint green divider and I gave her my rose gold one. Here I just have some studies that I wanted to do, so Proverbs 31 Woman did Fervent, I did Ruth, I did Esther, done Job, started Ephesians, is completed Proverbs, Psalms, you know, Luke, I've done Romans, Sean, so just a list of things that I wanted to study, which I need to actually update this list. 
here are some books um, that I wanted to get or some books that I do own. So anything with a gold star are books that I own and with a pink star are books that I've read. So, you know, these are some movies that I adore, such as A Passion of Christ, War Room, um, Fireproof, Facing the Giants, Courageous, The Grace Card, Blessed and Cursed, The Marriage Counselor from um, Tyler Perry, The Temptation Movie from Tyler Perry, um, and <clears throat> Why Did I Get Married, both the play and the movie from Tyler Perry, and just all of Tyler Perry Medea's kind of plays and movies are amazing. These are some songs that I adore, and the ones with gold stars are ones that I've danced to. Again, I have not updated this list in a minute. And then these are just blogs and websites that I adore, such as She Reads Truth, A Proverbs Wife, Carla R. Cannon on um, YouTube, as well as Periscope, Jen Wright, her Facebook, which is Plan Live Love Bible Study, Heather Lindsay, who has the Pinky Promise Movement, Joseph Solomon on YouTube, which is Chase God TV, things like that. I have another one of these here in the back just to prevent my pages from curling under. And then in this pocket, I have a notepad here. I have this pen that says enjoy. It just says enjoy on it. And then I stick it there. And this is a blue ink pen if I'm not mistaken. I have yet to use it, but it's blue ink pen. And then back here, I just have random stuff. Um, if I can just like pull it out. So these are some old sermon notes that I took in church. And I also have the first um, kind of, I don't want to say sermon that I did, but I had to basically teach on Proverbs chapter 1 and 2, if I'm not mistaken it was. Um, yeah, Proverbs chapter 1 and 2, and these were the notes that I took um, when I had to do it. And... Yeah, I have some prayers in here too, which I didn't even realize I had a prayer. But then I have the rest of the um, inserts from the prayer journal in here. So, just the rest of the inserts that belong in the back in case I need more paper to write. I also have some cards back here. So, I have this card that says thank you. Realize how blessed you are. I am grateful. My life is rich and full. And then this one here where I can actually write a prayer on. I'm actually going to use these for prayer cards. And um, another one that says a true love story. And these I got from um, me and my big ideas. They're kind of like Project Life cards, but they call them something else. Um, but I think that was it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. For this, I'm going to stick all this back in the pockets. You know, I haven't been keeping up with this one as much as I would like to, just because I've been using my prayer journal and also, oh, sorry, I've been using my prayer journal a lot as well as my journaling Bible to do my study notes in. But I definitely want to get back into using this. I normally would take this with me when I would go to my fiance's house, but um, I stopped for some reason, so, you know. But yeah, that's a quick inside look at my Warbinder Faith Journal. And like, again, like I said again, this is only just one of them I do own too. So the next one I do, you guys will be able to get a glance at my other Faith Journal Warbinder kind of setup. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you guys own your own Warbinder or Faith Journal, tell me what kind of sections you have in yours and what kind of things you use in yours. And um, yeah, let's just talk about it down below in the comment section. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.